Hey guys, Jay Lehman here on a windy, cold, wintry day, but I wanna show you this property. It's my very first real estate property that I purchased. We talk about all things real estate on this channel, and today I wanna talk about single family home investing, so like and subscribe if you like the content. This house is a three bed, one bath, and I bought a package with this house, another three bed, one bath, from the same person. This lady was looking to sell both the houses. She was an investor. I bought both of them. I liked the way they cash flowed. This one was about 625 a month. This one was 589 a month right here. The renter had been there 12 years. So I thought, okay, well, I got a solid renter in one of them, even though it might be a little bit under rented. And I think they're gonna cash flow based on what I had to pay for. I held them for three or four years. I made upgrades in the property, hardened the property, although the floors were already hardened. But I painted the property and took care of the properties. And I ended up actually selling this property to an in-state investor, this property to an out-of-state investor, and I used the profits from those sales to actually roll into an apartment building using a 1031 exchange, which takes all the profits from the, the sale and defers your tax, so you're not taxed on it at all if you exchange it for a property of like kind, which I did, an apartment. And so just like Monopoly, you buy four small houses and you get a big green hotel, right? So, uh, or red hotel, green, red, Christmas, whatever, we get mixed up. but. What I'm saying is this, it's all the same. You gotta start somewhere, right? You don't have to be good to get started, but you gotta get started to get good. And so I started with this property right here. It's not huge, it's pretty humble, it was pretty cheap, but it was what I could afford when I started four years ago. Now, I took the profits from both of these and rolled them into bigger properties. I'll probably take the profits from those other properties that I buy it and roll them again in the 1031 exchange, getting bigger and bigger properties that cash flow and appreciate on a greater level than these. But I got started with these properties. I would encourage you, start small, but start somewhere. Start buying an asset that can cash flow. And there are hundreds, thousands of properties in the Midwest that will cash flow for you ASAP from the moment that you buy them. All right, so comment below. Let me know if you want to know more about the properties that cash flow like this. Uh, we like to cash flow properties at the one and a half to 2% rule in this area, meaning that the gross rents equal one and a half to 2% of the purchase price. If you can find some properties for that, they will cash flow from day one. So like, subscribe for more content like this. And this is my very first house. Woo!